Do you struggle with your little chip shots around the greens like so many golfers do? Then this shot will save your life. This is my 62 degree wedge and this is the shot that you must have. And at first, it might look impossible, but it's really super simple. We're going, this guy, open the face. Whew. You see how low it went? That's what we're looking for. This is the shot that we need to practice and get right. This little guy right here. Whew. I love that. It will change your world. All right, we have to first understand the science behind the shot so that we can pull it off. So it makes total sense. If you're on a hard pan lie, this will not work. But mushy, grass, fringe, that type of thing, even a tight lie in the fairway, it will work. As long as there's some type of give in the earth, like this mat here, that's what you need. Okay, so your ball is gonna be here. And the more give you have in the earth, the lower your ball will go. So if your ball goes high, it's just there's less give. And it doesn't really matter, the same rules apply. You're gonna set up with your wedge and you're gonna open that face. Opening that face, as you can see, brings that bounce down and actually lifts the leading edge of the club off the ground. That's what we want. If you dig into the earth with your leading edge, you're just gonna dig up a giant divot right behind the ball. So we're gonna open that face and now the bounce actually slides and glides through the earth. Nothing's gonna catch it. So we're actually gonna hit behind the ball and drive the club down into the ground as it travels forward. What happens is the club actually goes underneath the ball. The ball will actually levitate. It will stay put as the ground gives way, the ball stays there and the club slides under Thus, it spins on this wide open face here and moves forward. And because you're not going down like this, the ball doesn't necessarily go up. So as long as the ground gives at least as much as from the bounce to the leading edge, you're gonna to be totally fine. In almost all circumstances, other than a hard pan lie, it will do just that. And the club will travel here, you'll catch the ball on the wide open face moving this way and it'll propel it forward really low. And you will love everything about the shot. All we're gonna do is set up with our feet very close together, ball a little forward in our stance, just kind of off this left heel, uh, left center of the foot right there. You're gonna open that face a lot. And your hands do not go forward here, your hands definitely go in the middle. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take it back here accelerate through the shot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that face open the entire way through the shot. Never does that face shut down like this and open and close. It goes back here and I'm trying to keep that face pointed straight up to the sky. So if we put this on here, I'm opening that face up. So that face is literally pointed straight up. And then as I go through the shot, this is actually gonna be pointed back this way. The face would never, like in a real shot, rotate through like so. This rotates up like this, and you can, no problem, you should actually have a little cup in your left wrist here, right like that. So that looks something like this. And as you come down through the ball, remember, you want that club traveling down while pushing the bounce into the ground like this. So if you don't feel so confident about opening up a 62 degree wedge, which most people don't, you could drop to something like your pitching wedge and have phenomenal results doing the exact same thing. And that's where you get a good chip and run with a little bite on it in these tough, tough, like lie conditions. Let's go to the golf course and show you exactly in reality how this plays out. Here we are, we've got this tight kind of wet lie. And if we take our most lofted club, right? This is the shot we practiced in the house. And we, we approach it the exact same way. This is what will happen. 
and most people, what they don't want to use a very lofted wedge on this shot. That's fine because if you did, this is what would most likely happen here. Okay, but that's the exact shot we want. We want to be able to open that face and hit behind the ball, hit it kind of fat, just the same thing we just did. That's the shot we want to play, but obviously in this situation going at that flag, we can't use that club because it's not going to work. So what we want to do is take a lot less loft because that's going to be a much safer, easier play. So now I've got my 50 degree wedge and I'm going to do the exact same thing and hit it just the same as I did the other one. Just going to hit it behind the ball like I just did. Same exact shot. And you could see how easy that becomes. Tight, muddy kind of lie. We're going to open that face up and hit just behind the ball. And you can see how that ball reacts, releases right to the hole. This is the shot that you want, that you must have. And there's my wrist position right here. Nice cupped left wrist. Club face is pointing the sky when I'm done. You can even use this with your longer clubs, like a nine iron, eight iron, pitching weight, whatever. Same exact thing, just open that face up, hands in the middle, hit it fat. And that's a nice, little easy shot that can help you escape from all kinds of trouble and danger. This is your must have short game shot that will save your life. Work hard. Love you guys. See you in the next video.